this guy spamming in my DMs to join the airline, join the airline, join the airline. So, is it worth my time? Today we're reviewing Tundra Airlines, and let's go ahead and hop right in. Now, before we begin, I ask fair, please grab daily verbiage of content every single day. We'd highly, highly appreciate it. Only a small messenger at you guys. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. Hit the bell notifications to never, ever miss an upload of the videos. So get to Mark Cross Me. Otherwise, uh, this is the Tundra Airlines SCI. Welcome to Edmonton. Start the yeah, economy, premium economy, business, summit, and aurora. I don't know why would you have five classes, but let's go ahead and press economy. And you're all set to go. Thank you very much. Here's the ticket. We're flying out of Edmonton International Airport. So let's go ahead and scan our ticket. Oh, very nice. And this is already promising. The Canadians are gonna do absolutely garbage at security. Jeez. I swear the HSBC is taking over the world. Bit to the International Airport's duty free. We got ourselves some games, which you actually can grab with a the E. And as you can see, Lunar Lander actually works. Very nice. So we got ourselves Tap Me. Uh, oh, I got a teddy bear. It's it's a very nice teddy bear, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is iPhone. Oh, this is an amenity kit. Very nice. I think I got everything. So let's go ahead and go down this uh, little hallway. Really? Alright, this is what the airport looks like. And what I'm looking at is it's very massive. I that my computer is actually running this, which is kind of flailing, but at the same time, who cares? We got ourselves a Tim Hortons. Uh, we got ourselves an out of, co uh, out of service and a coffee machine. Uh, I can't really click on it. It's not working. So yeah, all right. This is the Mickey D's. We have those uh, self check-in stuff like the self check-in you can order here We have the McDonald's and a nice little restaurant area. I got this PM. So uh, And there's no premium customers have joined uh, you'll be joined. Uh, you'll be upgraded to business. Thanks very much Well, an interesting change of fate. We got ourselves business class. <laughs> oh great burrito fresh number one grammar but number two, I mean, it's very bright. Oh my goodness. And I think that's it. There really isn't anything else. There's all gate space right there. I think uh, the lounge is here, right? I, I sent a PM uh, right next to the duty free. Yeah, yeah, right here. So apparently with our business class ticket, we do have access to the lounge here at Yegg Airport. Uh, very nice. Let's look at this. All right. Whoa. Uh, the lighting looks very, very, very you know, modern, contemporary. We have a nice little like check-in desk here, uh, over here. Oh, what can I get? I'll take water, please. I'll take water. Oh, we gotta make our way to the couch. Okay. Uh, here. This is this is very interesting. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. This is the water over here. Nice. Looking pretty nice. Don't ask me what's in the chat. I really don't understand. You have a nice little empty buffet, maybe because of COVID, well, I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, this in a lounge space is obviously really phenomenal. Well, let's go ahead and go down the stairs. And I'm really liking the airport. Uh, this is a very large space, a large, you know, thing to work with. I don't know how I feel about it. I just have to make my mind during the ratings, but the lounge was a great big success here. Otherwise, we'll be starting our boarding with Tundra Airlines. I'm going to go ahead and just sit back, relax, and I'll go ahead and transition to boarding. Let's go. Shoot, the bulls are down by... Oh, we're boarding. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead, get right through the gate down this line. Can I... Can I... Yeah, very much. Uh, let's go ahead. Down the jet bridge we go. And right in today's aircraft. We gotta look what today's aircraft is, but let's go ahead and turn right. This is what the whole cabin looks like. Uh, this is like the premium business class, in, uh, class section in 2 2 and economy in 2 2. Sit down right over here. Take the back seat. This seat looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We have a nice little uh, fabric here, tray table, and stuff. Uh, I'm pressing forward. There's nothing. And no infotainment either. Just like the nest area, like where you put your magazines and stuff. The seat's basic, great design, but there's no animations to it. And an infotainment, there really isn't anything. I'm, I'm clicking, uh, there is Luna Lander, which is the best we got, but like, I don't know if an team will show up. Nice little livery as well, I like in the mountains, and I think it's like a bird or something. Hello, my name's Brady, what can I get you? Uh, surprise me, please, please surprise me. It has leap engines, so my guess is like the 737 Max or something. I gotta look it, but 
Otherwise, uh, we'll go ahead and transition all the way to the runway. We're going to depart out of Yag Airport, Edmonton International Airport in Alberta. So sit back, relax, let's go ahead and go to Regina. Alright guys, we're looking like we're taking off, and I turned on the a engine sound for takeoff. I hope it's not copyright. Yes, it is on. Uh, and I dropped my... Oh, boy. Yeah, these sounds look absolutely phenomenal. You can clearly hear them, and Rotate. Alright. Oh! Okay. Yeah, these sounds are pretty good. Uh, we've officially taken off the Tundra. Let me make this sound. Very nice. But well, we officially take it off out of uh, Yag Airport where we get it over to Regina Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yes. Um, I'll see you guys first. Oh, the flushing meat ice cream. Real good. Anyways, uh, welcome to Cruise. Um, let's go and look at the PM. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, let me see the menu. I zoom right in. We have starters, carrot, ginger soup, artichoke, and stuff. You want? Screw it. Uh, surprise me with five different items. Uh, so let's go and see that speak with Serby right now. Can I please jump off? Yep. Yeah. Oh well. Anyways, let's go ahead and look what we got for food. Zoom right in. Uh, we have self apple juice. I'm um, clicking, no animation, so it's a nice little glass cup in. Carrot and ginger salad, zoom in. We got ourselves just a basic salad here. We got ourselves some lemonade, again, same thing, different color. We have lemon honey sorbet. Uh, if we zoom in, it's a nice little ice cream. Chocolate mud pie, uh, we have some raspberries, a little bit of a tart, uh, very nice. Corn custard and poached. Uh, we have corn, it's just like a cheese bread or something like that, uh, salad, and a nice little crab here. And a cranberry juice that I got from, um, from the ground before we took off, it's red. I'm digging it. Uh, let's go ahead and transition all the way to landing. So, let's go ahead and see my scores. I think the airport is trying to emulate a real, yeah, airport Edmonton. So, um, I'm gonna give this airport a 4 out of 5. I do think they could add a lot more just to fill in the empty space, especially at the end of the terminal. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, that's a pretty good airport. The seat, it was uh, alright. The, the design was nice, but everything else, there's no animation. So I just give this a 3.5 out of 5. The infotainment, there's no infotainment as what I've seen. But, I, the, you know, the more infuriating thing is that you have a, you know, a screen, and it doesn't have anything. Why should you even have it? It's a 2 out of 5 here. The crew were very friendly, they gave me an upgrade, and I, I have to say, it's a 4 out of 5 here. Very deserving. And the food, I like the design of it, no animations, but the design was solid, so it's a 3.5 out of possible 5 here. So final score for Tundra Airlines is 17 out of possible 25 score. I like what Tundra is doing. If they add in flight attainment and start up, you know, getting better and getting better, I think they have lots of potential. Otherwise, we'll be landing in Regina, so let's go ahead and land. And touch down. Very, very smooth. That was actually not that bad. And that seemed like good timing. A very long runway. I don't understand what happened here, but... I mean, that's a pretty good landing. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, you could have went back down. You have a very, very long runway. But I guess, uh, 2.0? It's the Max, Faust. It's a 737 Max. I, I mean, it, I, I, you gotta, you gotta have suspender, uh, AOC right now, I swear. A few moments later. Take two, I guess. And, uh, not bad. It's still pretty smooth. But, that's your second landing. A little bit fully, but that we just landed. I don't want us to go ahead and taxi to the gate. All 
Alright, I think we are just, yeah, we are done. So, uh, I think Tundra Airlines has so much potential, as I said during Final Approach. I'm liking what I'm seeing, but that is basically it. Welcome to Regina, and, uh, yeah. If you did enjoy this review, please do consider subscribing and hitting the bell as it supports the Mr. Bolson channel a lot as we post daily reviews of content every single day. Hundreds Airlines' group, if you do want to join them, is in the description. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, take flight. Adios.